get ready. Hey friends, and welcome back to another Disney Plus video. So today we're gonna have a little look through the Marvel subsection because uh, we've we've been through the Star Wars subsection last week. So let's why not why not let's head um, into the Marvel subsection. Let's just head to that right now. Let's just have a little look on here. So um, as always, we'll go to the Marvel subsection. It's a nice little animation there, just like the Star Wars one has a nice animation as well. So we'll click on that now, and there it does the old uh, animation there. Um, right, okay, so we're going to kick off with Loki, so that's currently running every Fridays at the moment, um, and I do believe, I can't remember to, to be honest when it ends, but uh, it's, in my opinion, it's not as good as the uh, first season, but it is getting better, um, so I, I can't wait for it every Friday um, when doing that, but I will try and do um, a new uh, a, a review of it once it's all done and dusted so make sure to check that out there uh, but then we got more episodes of i am groot and they are really cute and fun they're literally about five minutes long so it doesn't take too long we we watch them in one sitting um while we're having lunch uh, because it was just like it was pretty good now this is a um, one that came out on the 20th of october uh, which was werewolf by night in color so it's exactly the same movie as uh, werewolf uh, by night just werewolf by night is in black and white and this is in color um i will watch it to see uh, what it's like in color um but yeah it's a marvel presentation special presentation so it's not part of the mcu um, then we've got Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Secret Invasion. Um, let me know, guys, what you thought of Secret Invasion. I do have reviews on the channel for this. Uh, Cloak and Dagger, which I still need to see. Uh, you've got um, Assembled, the making of Secret Invasion. Someone told me before that they were getting rid of the Assembled, and I was like, no, they're not. Um, and then, obviously, they're not, because you're there. Um, Assembled, the making of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Um, Legends, and this is quite interesting with Legends, because they've now started releasing all these legend uh, episodes on YouTube. And it's like, they could have done more, um, as I keep saying about it, they could have done more with legends. But I'm a bit confused why they're releasing them on YouTube and not keeping them on Disney Plus for the subscribers only, but hey ho. And then we got Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 there. So we've got character collections now. So if you just like a certain character and you want to go through all of their stuff then you can just go onto these collections so you've got loki ant-man black panther uh, hulk thor doctor strange black widow falcon and the winter soldier because they've got to have two together same as wonder and vision uh hawkeye and then the spider-man collection now that's a lot smaller because they have removed uh, some of these movies we will click on that in a moment i think um um well, let's, let's click on it now yeah, so there we go. We don't have any of the live action movies anymore now on Disney Plus, which is sad. Um, they have gone back to like Netflix and Sky and all that jazz, which is sad. But there we go. Right, so the MCU Infinity Saga. So the Infinity Saga has ended. So we have everything um, here on, well, apart from the Spider Man movies. Uh, so you got Iron Man. Uh, so this is in release order, this isn't in chronological order. Uh, so you've got Iron Man, the Incredible Hulk, Iron Man 2, Thor, um, you've got the one shot consultant, um, Captain America the first Avenger, and then another shot, uh, one shot, um, a funny thing happened on the way to Thor's hammer, Avengers, item 47, um, Iron Man 3, uh, one shot Agent Carter, Thor, the Dark World, one shot All Hail the King, um, Captain America the Winter Soldier, Guardians of the Galaxy, um, Avengers Age of Ultron, Ant-Man, Civil War, uh, one shot Team Thor Part 1, uh, Doctor Strange, and then Team Thor Part 2, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, Thor Ragnarok, Team Daryl, um, if you don't know who Daryl is, then you need to watch the Team Thor uh, ones here, um, because they uh, it explains who he is, and I, he is actually in um, Thor Love and Thunder as well, so it is worth watching those little one shots there. Then we've got Black Panther. Um, Avengers Infinity War, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Captain Marvel, and Avengers Endgame. So they don't have the Incredible Hulk movie um, in there, do they? Or did they? Um, did I quickly? Yeah, they did actually. Um, but obviously none of the Spider-Man movies are in there. So um, there would be um, two Spider-Man movies. There would be one um, 
just before civil uh, or just after civil war um and then one after end game and that marks the infinity saga um and then we move on to the mcu multiverse saga so the multiverse is kind of openish now so we got one division uh the falcon and the winter soldier loki black widow what if it's like even though that technically is part of the infinity saga really because there's nothing really uh, I think, but I, I suppose it opens up some of the characters for some of the um, other movies in the multiverse saga. Uh, we've got What If, Shang-Chi, Eternals, Hawkeye, Moon Knight, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, uh, Ms. Marvel, Thor, Love and Thunder, um, I Am Groot, She-Hulk, Attorney at Law, Werewolf by Night, um, Wakanda Forever, uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special, which I recommend watching before watching Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Uh, Quantum Mania, uh, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three, and Secret Invasion. So what they haven't added just yet to this is uh, Werewolf by Night um, in color. But it's interesting that they have added Werewolf by Night in the multiverse saga, and it's not just as like a standalone thing. But there we go. So Marvel Original, um, Mar Marvel Origins. Sorry, I think I did that the last time I done uh, this subsection. So you got all the um, the origin stories here. Um, that's not an origin story of the Hulk. Hmm, interesting. Um, <laughs> it's not actually an origin story. But there we go. Uh, but those are all the other ones there. Then you got Marvel Animations. You got What If. Uh, you got the X Men. And I can't wait for X Men 97. I am Groot. I am Man Rise of uh, Techno Technovore. Um, Spider uh, Spidey and his amazing friends. Spider Man, the spectacular Spider Man. Meet Spidey and his amazing friends. Shorts. Spider Woman. Spider Man. Spider-Man and his amazing friends, Iron Man, um, that's fair to say man now, uh, Fantastic Four, Spider-Man, uh, The Incredible Hulk, Silver Surfer, Spider-Man Unlimited, The Superhero Squad Show, um, Earth's Mightiest Avengers, Ultimate Spider-Man, Iron Man, <laughs> Hulk, Heroes United, Avengers Assemble, Hulk, The Agents of Smash, uh, Avengers, Confidential, Black Widow, and The Punisher. Oh, I don't think I've seen that one. Uh, Iron Man, Captain America, Heroes United, uh, Superhero Adventures, Frost Fight, Guardians of the Galaxy Shorts, Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, oh, we met the, uh, well, we saw the voice actor for Drax for this um, at TF Nation, so make sure to check that video out on here. Um, got Hulk, Monst uh, Where Monsters Dwell, uh, Marvel Funko Shorts. Uh, Marvel Ultimate Comics, Ro uh, Rocket and Groot, uh, Avengers Secret War Shorts, um, Spider-Man, Future Avengers, Superhero Adventures, there's lots of animation on here, isn't it? Uh, Spider-Man Shorts, Ant-Man Shorts, um, Marvel Rising, Secret Warriors, uh, Marvel Rising Initiation, uh, Initiation, Initiative, or oh, something like that. Um, I can't quite see it. Um, initiation, yeah. Uh, Marvel Rising, Playing with Fire. Uh, Marvel Rising, Heart of Iron. Uh, Chasing Ghosts. And then Marvel Battleworld, Mystery of the Thanos Stones. And then Marvel Unscripted. So Unscripted is pretty much um, things for documentaries where there's not that. They, they, they might script sometimes, but sometimes they don't as well. Uh, so you've got uh, the Assembled here, you've got the Stan Lee um, documentary, which I still need to watch, to be honest, I haven't seen it yet. Uh, we've got Empower as well, uh, Behind the Mask, uh, more Assembled here, uh, From Pulp to Pop, um, then we've got uh, more Assembled again, uh, Voice Rising, the music of Wakanda Forever, uh, more Assembled, uh, Director by Night, so that's the behind the scenes of Werewolf by Night, more assembled stanley's mutants monsters and marvels um more assembled um assembling a universe more assembled again expanding the universe uh the what if one yep 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 so i think they should have just put these as like a series um and then just released them then um, a new episode as they came out but there we go um and then you got timeline order then so we're not going to go through the timeline order but this is um how you do it um, I would change around um, uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp and Infinity War. I would put that um, after um, Ant-Man and the Wasp after Infinity War. Uh, just be prepared that it um, it does happen before Infinity War, but the post credit scene happens um, at the end of Infinity War. So this is kind of like running at the same time those are. Um, 
Okay, so we got all these here as well. Um, yep, yep, yep. And yeah, they haven't added in uh, Werewolf by Night in color yet either. And then you got all the one shots in this one little section here. IMAX enhanced, so they will be on like a full screen on your TV instead of like a letterbox mode for some of these movies here. Um, there's quite a lot of them now for um, uh, for Marvel. Then you've got the Defenders series. So you've got Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, Defenders, Punisher, uh, Daredevil movie, and Electra movie. So um, all these series here. Uh, so these two are movies, uh, but the rest of them are series, and they were uh, made for Netflix, but now they have them. And then you've got the Mutant Legacy, which you've got X-Men, Deadpool, um, X-Men First Class, The Gifted, X-Men Origins, Wolverine, uh, Legion, X2, X-Men Last Stand, The New Mutants, uh, the X-Men Cartoon Series, Logan, X-Men Days of Future Past, X-Men Apocalypse, uh, uh, The Wolverine, Deadpool 2, and Dark Phoenix. So I think those have been released. Uh, no, they doesn't make any sense why that order, but there we go. Uh, we've got the Spider-Verse, so everything has Spider-Man's in. Um, so we won't go through that. We'll just skip through them. There we go. And then Agents and Inhumans. So these are like spin-off series and stuff like that. So you've got Agent Shield, Agent Carter, the Inhumans. Um, and then we've been through these then. Um, and Ghost Rider um, is on year two. Um, they got Fantastic Adventures, so Fantastic Four. Um, so they got uh, the three movies there and then two series um, or animated ones on there and then you've got more collections down the bottom so you've got the guardians of the galaxy collection the avengers collection marvel rising collection x-men collection infinity saga collection animation collection and then the one shot collection so you just go to that um there and you can do that by just by going into uh, search as well and then going into all collections and they should be yeah there they are in the marvel section there they're all there for you but there we go guys that is the marvel subsection um let me know um what you're thinking of with loki at the moment as well please pop a comment down and let's have a discussion about what you think of loki but with that being said we are gonna finish that there thanks very much for watching don't forget to click that subscribe button and the notification bell also consider joining our membership for some additional content um and it's such as a way of really supporting us and we can get more content out for you guys but thanks for that until next time bye guys